Okay, in this tutorial I'm mixing uh, rigid body effects with soft body effects, but they don't kind of mix and match very well, so there's some workarounds you can try and do to try and fake things a little bit. So let's see what the animation looks like real quick if I run it here. So here's my soft body object in the scene, and here are all the rigid bodies. Now if you go into this scene tab here, down here under the rigid body world, I have the speed down to point 0.2. Normally it defaults at 1 for the speed of the simulation, but down at point 0.2 it's one-fifth of the speed. So it allows me to do it in slow motion, yet the soft body action, which is just this plane with the edges set as fixed in the vertex group and the middle point fixed, the others are free to float, but it's running at its normal speed. So you can mix the speeds of the simulations differently. So now you notice the green line around here. And that's because I have this passive set on the rigid body for this as well. And it's also a collision based object. If I go into the soft body to well let me see, I'll put it back to collision here. But you'll notice even with collision set and even with some of these not all of these are set to collision, but there's enough of them. Let's see if I can get it back to one of them that shows it. Kind of give you an idea as it's going through the scene. But even that guy, that has collision set. It goes right through. Let's see that one. That goes through. That ha did not, but we'll see that generally they're not going to, it's not going to work. I haven't found a way to make the soft bodies or the cloth hold an object. I'm going to figure it out. But Let's see. Let me see if some of these others are set. Yeah, that's set as collision. That's set as collision. That's set as collision. So they're all collision based, but yet, you know, they they can't really work with each other. They're kind of like two separate simulations that are going on. So one of the things I've done is you can turn this into a static object here, as far as a static rigid body, and it still has collision set on it. But then if you notice the so it does actually act like collision, but you'll notice the collision is actually taking place only on the actual initial shape of the mesh, not on the shape of the mesh being deformed within the soft body simulation. So if you want to, so the only way I've found to get around it is if you want to kind of fake it, you basically have to create something similar to taking like the original mesh, like this. Yeah, I'll take these, G, Z, and I'll move those down like this. So now the mesh is actually in this shape as well. All right, now let's run the simulation and see what happens. I have to start it over. And you see it's actually, they're actually within the confines of it. So it's being affected by the static settings on the rigid body but it still doesn't affect the it's still not the cloth effect still not taking place so it's it's a little bit of trickery you know and I didn't want to turn these all into soft bodies because then the simulation time just goes through the roof but so sometimes it's a matter of just uh, having to fake it out and give it the illusion of certain things happening of course you could, the one way you could fake it is down here underneath, you have to all pull all these tricks off on this thing. You come down here underneath here like this. And maybe I'll just add a uh, wind force, force field wind. You know, maybe at frame one it'll be this one value, so I'll press I, and then maybe at frame 20 I'll make it zero, and then at frame 40 I'll make it one forgot to set 20. That's 0, press I, like this. Alright, so then I'll grab another window, I'll grab the graph editor real quick, and there they are in there. And the reason I'll do is I'll come up to channel and I'll extrapolate that out and make it cyclic. So now the wind is basically pulsing on and off as I go. So now when I'm running the simulation, let's see what happens on, we'll start from the beginning. So that should add some extra force to the wind, and it will add extra force to these, well already it's probably too much. You see these objects have a tendency not to, they're not making it because this force is pulsing on and off. 
Oh, I'm not sure why. That should actually do it. This should, position of that shouldn't matter, so that should be... Why are those not making it over there? They absolutely should. You can see the changing, just up and down. Huh, that's it. Delete it. So somehow that's messing it up. I'm not sure what that was all about. That should have actually affected it. So basically I was going to pulse the wind up and down to make these feel like they were blowing up and down, but it should not have affected how they came over here unless they were just too light. It could have been they were too light, actually, when I think about it, because the mass is set uh, really low in some of those objects. But basically, if you try and pulse the wind at the same rate, I've had success with this before, so I know it does work. If you pulse the wind at the same rate that this is kind of bouncing around, it should make these objects bounce up and down at about the same rate, and then it'll kind of give you the illusion of that going on. All right, well, uh, that's it for now. I hope that gives you some ideas, and I'll see you in the next video.